Hey guys, so it's me Nina and today I have my October wrap up for you. This month I only read two things, one graphic novel and one actual novel. And so this should be a really quick video, so let's just get into it. So the first one I'll talk about is the graphic novel because I really don't have to have too much to say about this. It's called Making Friends Back to the Drawing Board by Kristen Gudsunk. I don't know how you say her name. Um, I like the colors. I like the artwork colors. Um, but other than that, there's nothing else I like about this book. So this is the second book in her series or whatnot. The first one was okay, I've talked about it before. But she has this magic notebook and anything she writes in it comes true or whatever. So she kind of has these powers or whatnot and then I don't even know what happened in this. There was a magic genie dog so it was on the loose and she was trying to catch the magic genie dog and then all this stuff happens. She cloned herself so that people would think she's cool and I don't know. I didn't like it. I thought it was kind of boring, kind of stupid. And I felt like a lot of the pictures and writing was too small that it like hurt my eyes. And I know I sound like a grandma saying that, but you know what? That's what was, that was what was happening. So anyway, let's go on to the actual book so that I have something to say. So I read Final Girls by Riley Sager. This was actually pretty popular. Like when it first came out in like 2017 I think, so a couple years ago. Um, I just now read it and I really liked it. So what initially drew me in was the cover. I just like the little tally marks, like the little details count, you know? And they always say don't judge a book by its cover, but I fucking do. I do. All the time. So I picked up this because it looked cool and it looked like a thriller and that's what I enjoy reading most is thrillers. Um, this deals with three girls called the final girls. They all went through a really traumatic like murder where all of their friends got murdered and they were the only one who survived. So they kind of bond over that and the media kind of puts them together as like the survivors, the best friends, they all have this in common, they're the final girls, you know? Well, years later, one ends up dead, and she is believed to be, uh, the, uh, the, the, they thought it was a suicide, but it turns out she was actually murdered. That's what I'm trying to say. And then, so, the other two girls kind of appear, and the one's a little shady, and you kind of get the hit that maybe she's the one who killed the other girl, maybe something happens, like, something's not right about this girl. I don't know. I'm really terrible at explaining stories. Kind of go on a scavenger hunt to figure out like what happened to Lisa, the girl who was killed. What really happened? She didn't commit suicide. If she did, why didn't she do this or this or that or whatever? And so she starts to piece on clues and, and figure out who would have done this, why, who can she trust? Can she trust anyone? Is she in danger herself? What really happened that night? So our main character doesn't remember what took place when all the murders happened. She doesn't remember the murders. She just knows that she survived and this cop saved her and killed the murderer. That's all she remembers. She doesn't really know what took place. And a lot of people don't believe her story. A lot of them think that she's faking it and does remember but she doesn't have any memory of what happened. Um, so when her memory is starting to like try and piece itself together little by little, she's like struck with the truth of what happened that night and trying to confront everything and put all the puzzle pieces together. I don't know. I enjoyed the story. I thought it was cool. It was a good thriller. I would give it like a 3.5 or 4 stars out of 5. Um, it just what it wasn't the most amazing thing I've ever read, but it was good. It kept me hooked. I was guessing. I was playing along, you know. So yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So hope you enjoy this video and uh, maybe check out these books from your local library. That's where I got mine. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Is this not turning off?